Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate, episode 44. Alright, finally, with a breath of fresh air, we uh, will be doing something now. Um, I really don't know what that something is, but I figure there has to be something cool in this house. Looks like the two guards aren't too happy that we're here, but uh, we don't care about them, right? Everyone will take point in this endeavor. Her high charisma and thieving abilities will allow her to hopefully slip by undetected and loot the place. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. What a waste. All right, nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, there has to be something in one of these. Give me a break. Criminy. There's nothing in that one either. What is up with this place? Sleeping body. I wonder if this one will see us steal things. Nope. Okay, I must have just been utterly, terribly wrong earlier when I had said that sleeping bodies will see you steal things. So I apologize for the misinformation. Looks like one last one here. Oh, it's not even locked. Just has a dagger. Alrighty then. Let us trump onwards. Outside in the air. Fresh air. We're going to get another party member on the team. One that I hate. Almost more than Branwyn. In fact, maybe more than Branwyn. I don't know. That's alright, though. We're going to enjoy it anyway, even if I have to force myself to. Hello there. Everyone, say hello to Garrick, the greenest adventurer in the world. Let's start off the whole thing by going ahead and accepting his uh, quest that he gives us. Uh, he wants us to protect his mistress from a group of thugs who apparently are going to attack her um, soon, or something. Or does he even say that? I don't know. He just says that his mistress has a job for her. Go ahead and talk to her with someone with high charisma, and uh, she'll pay you more than the amount that Garrick offered. Um, she says that uh, when they come, they're thugs, don't be fooled, you know, they're murderers, and just kill them when I tell you to. Here they are, Feldpost thugs. They come over and uh, she says that, uh, don't threaten me, you know, we have, I have friends now, you can't bully me, and they're like, what, what are you talking about? We're here with the gems, that shut up, there'll be no weaseling out of this one. Uh, basically, she's a con artist, so we'll tell her to stop this madness. She threatens to kill us all, but, um, I don't know if she noticed, but it's six against one, or well, it's five against one, but, um, I don't know exactly how much chance she had to actually win that. Anyway, 900 EXP is always welcomed, um, and the thugs are rather uh, thankful. They weren't thugs at all, they were just uh, people, honestly. And we'll go ahead and talk to Garrick. Silky's dead! Would it be too much to ask if I could join up with you? No problem, buddy. Otherwise, you'd probably be dead in a Peloponnesian second. Oh, time to loot Silky's body. She doesn't need what she has anymore. Quarter staff plus one, plus the 400 gold that uh, she was already going to give us. So, you know, get the money one way or the other. Hey, wait. Isn't Jahira on the body? What's going on here? It did it again, didn't it? Oh, wait. I have no idea. Urgh! Who cares? Let's just give Chesney this... Uh, this quarter stuff. And take a look at uh, Garrick here. Uh, Garrick is our bard. Uh, he's a chaotic neutral bard, but don't be fooled. If your reputation goes too low, he doesn't like it. 
Um, I don't know. I don't have much to say about Bards. Uh, his dexterity is pretty good. Overall, his stats are balanced in a high sense, minus his constitution, which is terrible. He does know some spells, of course, being a bard, and uh, has the ability to pickpocket. Honestly, the thing that I find the most useful this early in the game is the fact that his lore is crazy high at 40. Ours is only 32. Lore uh, for bards is always pretty high, which uh, means we can just kind of take advantage of the fact that uh, he can identify things without us having to cast spells on them. Oh, it doesn't look like he can identify that Wand of Frost. We'll go ahead and give him the Leather Armor plus one. And, uh... I... We don't need this Halberd, but, uh... Oh, and he can identify this. Oh, no. This... Identify that one. Oh, he can't! Hmm. Well, no worries. I think it's the same, uh... They both have the same armor class. But one of them is lighter. And it's actually that one. That's lighter, so. Okay, because everyone knows that when a weapon becomes plus one, or, well, when anything becomes plus one, one of the bonuses that it gets is that it instantly becomes half the weight that it originally was. Um, which is nice. That's uh, Marian, Marian's house, or that lady we gave the letter to in order to get the Ring of Protection. We won't bother her. Um, we don't need to. Other than that, I think we are finally ready to leave Baragost. And... Oh, wait, what am I talking about? No, we <laughs> didn't even come here to do the one thing that... Uh, the one thing that we were going to in the first place, which is... Encounter Transig. Ugh, yawning. It's early in the morning. Oh, Nelly. We'll probably sell all this junk we're carrying around to. Yeah, Garrick, you have less his hit points than Chez. It's not an excuse that I have a familiar... Not an excuse at all. <laughs> Actually, I guess technically a bard could have a familiar, couldn't he? That's kind of interesting, really. Alrighty. Well, before we encounter Transig upstairs, we'll, um... Sell all this garbage we have. I don't want the potion of defense or of invulnerability. So you can have them. Kagan has nothing. Khalid has some gems. Imowen probably has something. Some gems and necklaces. And other useless things. Oh, yeah, we did pick up a wand, didn't we? We'll see if Garrett can identify that for us. Pushing a heroism, I don't want that. I guess I don't want the studded leather plus one. Nor do I want the knave's robe. Alright, and where's that staff that we got? Alright, Garrick. It's it's a wand of lightning, obviously, but uh, I guess he can't tell yet. And... We don't have to worry about uh, spells, because we haven't used any. Go up the stairs, guys! <laughs> you look like the five stooges. Or the six stooges. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, I just can't count. Alright, I want to point out something. This character right here, Algernon, has one of the best cloaks in the entire game. He has a cloak. You know, let's just see if we can steal it. Let's quick save. Okay, so like that failed the first time. We're going to try it again. Get back here! Get back here, you pudgy innkeeper! <laughs> He's not even an innkeeper. I don't know who he is. Where is he? Alright, there he is. Pickpocket succeeded. Observe in witnessing the cheapest item in the game. And I don't mean cheap as in price. I mean, this thing is so spammable. It's called the Cloak of Charisma. It raises your charisma by two... 
It also gives you the special ability to cast Charm Person anytime you want. It is so spammable. It's not even Charm Person. It's like you get the ability to charm anything. Spiders, ogres, tarantulas, giant creatures, kobolds, ogres. How many times am I going to say the same thing? This is my room and I don't want visitors. Now leave me alone. It, it, <sighs> I just don't know what to say. This guy has the best cloak in the game. Anyway, we'll quit here and uh, jump transit in the next episode. Until then, friends.